Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm pretty excited because I'm going metal detecting for the first time in quite a while. Um, I know that a lot of you guys like my metal detecting videos and everybody always comments more metal detecting videos. So uh, today we're going to bring you one. Now this is actually a really cool place that I discovered using Gaia GPS. If you don't already know about Gaia GPS and you're a treasure hunter, well, you're welcome. This is like the best tool you can possibly have for researching where old home sites and structures are. So if you don't know, let me just show you here. So right now I'm using the satellite with labels overlay and then on top I'm using the historic Topo 1930. So as you bring this slider up, it'll overlay a map from 1930 showing you where the old buildings and stuff are. So if we get rid of the satellites completely, you can see right it's blurry, but you'll have that it's still loading, but each one of these little squares here, that shows where a structure was. A lot of times they're home sites, okay? Now just to prove this, we'll go over to historicaerials.com at the same place, the same park. This is an aerial shot from 1963. And as you can see, right there at that bend in the river, there is a structure right there. There's another one right over here. And that looks maybe like a tree or maybe a building or something there. But we're definitely going to go over there and check it out. This is what it looks like today. Um, it's a public park in Lakewood, Colorado. There's no ordinance against digging as long as it's not more than six inches. So we are totally going to check out this little bend in the river. We're not going to cross the creek because as you can see, the, the uh, park boundary is right there. So we're going to stay like in this little area. If you guys are interested in Gaia GPS, there's a link down below in the description. It's an affiliate link where you guys would get like, look at this discount. It's like, I don't know, 40% off or something. It's, it's pretty awesome. So definitely check it out. If you don't already have Gaia GPS, I highly recommend it. And another reason I want to make a metal detecting video today is because I got this really awesome miners pick. Now this thing is excellent for re relic recovery. So you can see there's a big magnet on that side and there's two magnets on the other side. We're gonna use this to recover relics today using the magnets to recover any nails or steel or trash or, and stuff. And hopefully um, we'll find some cool relics over there. Uh, you can buy these on Kelly Co. They have all different sizes you can get. Uh, everything from an 18 inch one all the way up to a 36 inch up to three magnets uh, yeah they're really awesome so let's go ahead and we'll take the equinox 800 over there today um, we'll dig around and see if we find anything hope you guys enjoy the video Ooh, poison hemlock do not eat there's lots of poison hemlock here. That's a very dangerous uh, thing, and it's e easily mistaken for a wild carrot or Queen Anne's lace. But here at the at the base, you can see that purple spotting. And if you pull this up, there's a nice, delicious-looking white carrot at the bottom. And if you eat that, uh, you will be in the emergency room for about seven hours. Luckily for me, it didn't have any effect. Last month, I spent about seven hours in the emergency room because I thought it was wild carrot, I ate it, and realized what it was right after I ate it. Thanks, Leanne, for the research help. But I went to the emergency room, and they basically just had me there waiting for my uh, nervous system to shut down and to stop breathing. They had a ventilator and everything there, so yeah, that was a bad choice. But it looks like right here. So let's get down there, we'll check the GPS again, make sure we're on the spot, we'll start swinging. I also found a really good use for my axe pocket here on my Fjall Raven Vita Pros. Look at that. Nice. We are exactly where we need to be. Maybe just, you know, forward a little bit. And we'll be right on that home site, right there. All right, so the equipment I'm bringing today to, to uh, do some relic hunting is the Mine Lab Equinox 800 metal detector. I've got the Apex pick here. And I also have the Mine Lab Profine 35 pinpointer. Those are the only three tools that I have other than the Gaia GPS and my camera and stuff here. So if you look behind me over here, you can see that there's like a clearing, not as much grass and everything. I think that's where we're gonna start swinging around, but this entire hillside is pretty much open game. So I'm gonna start swinging here. I'm gonna run the machine in 
All right, so I'm just running the machine in uh, park two mode. We'll ground balance and we'll see what we can find. I got a pretty solid 14, 15 target here. Right here, we have our target. So the first thing I do is I grab the pin pointer, see if I can locate it. There's something right here. Now we can see if it's, uh, yeah, look at how easy that was. It brought up a little nail right there. I didn't even have to dig. Let's see if that target is still there. There is. Is there any more iron? There sure is. I'll just leave it there on the pick, it doesn't matter. And there's still more. I had a better target than iron. Got something right here. All right, so now that I have all the iron cleaned up, these look like old nails actually, from the old home site. We'll swing over it again. I've now got a really clean 13 signal. That could be an old nickel. You can even dig plugs with this thing, which is really important, really quickly. That last target was just a pull tab, but here, deeper in the field, I got a nice 17, 18, right there. Let's bring the camera down a little closer. All right, I'll do my best to show you this target by moving the grass out of the way. But our target is like right there. Let's check it with the pin pointer. Yeah, there's something right here. <laughs> a big nail came up, a big old nail. So this is really, really handy to have in a home site area. Let's see if that target is even still here. No, I think we got it. Yeah, it's gone. Now that target was really deceiving. It sounded just like a penny, but it was a round head nail. Not too old, but this pick saved us a lot of time. All right, on to the next one. Right here we have a target bouncing between six and 22. So there might be two targets here. See if the magnet brings anything up. Okay, the magnet didn't grab anything. The target is right here. Oh, it's, it's a coin. No, it isn't. It was a round piece of wood. Ah. So that six is a piece of foil. That's all that was, is a gum wrapper. So, all right, so we got that gum wrapper out. Our other target should be easy to find now. All right, we found that other target. It was back a little bit further, right over here. Ah, an old piece of barbed wire. So that was just an old piece of barbed wire? Definitely a sign that there was an old home site here. I mean, we have photographic proof, but this is physical proof right here. Uh, we're gonna continue swinging until there's no more noise. I think we got it there. All right, let's keep going. All right, so I did some detecting all around this area. I found a bunch of trash, some can slaw, some more nails, um, just, you know, little, little things. I got all that stuff stuck here to my pick. But I think I found our first coin signal. It's pretty shallow, so it might be modern, but... Right there. It's like a 21, 22 on the Equinox. I know it's hard to see, I apologize. Nothing on the magnet. Let me bring the camera over. I'm just gonna clear some of this brush away. It's right there. I'm just gonna scoop this stuff back. You know what? It actually might be a can, because it's deeper. Yep, it is a can. Man. What kind of can? Oh, dude, that's an old Pepsi can. Look at that old relic, Pepsi. Wow. It's actually not as old as I thought. It has a, it's a pop top lid here, so it's not as old as I thought. Probably, I would say mid 80s, something like that. Oh well. 
Well, I had a good target here, at least I thought. And of course, as always, the scourge of Colorado. This course can has the pull tab and everything along with it. But yeah, don't be an idiot and litter. I always find Coors cans all over the place. Whether I'm in Colorado or not, I find these, Pennsylvania. But yeah, I don't understand why people drink this stuff. Go German instead. All right, so I'm here digging for this target. I think it's a coin. And this dude just was like, hey man, are you a photographer? I'm like, yeah, kind of. <laughs> no. Yeah, I got a camera, but no, I'm not a photographer. Bring this over here to the camera, show these guys. And he found this. Go ahead, you can explain it to the camera if you want. I found this on the side of the ridge you see you know when you see him you see a certain point sticking out and so you dig and so I saw that point sticking out you see a serrated yeah yeah a, oh a yeah serrated inch. that's absolutely man-made and so yes it's it's you know how old though I think it's probably 200 years old oh it's thousand oh yeah probably thousands yeah that's totally. awesome and you found that like right over here right there <laughs> well Maybe it's a, a creek, you know. Yeah, it is a creek. You know, Indian, it's always, I'm Native American, so it, it's um, always been there. The yeah. creek's always been there. Native Americans, I mean, if there's water, yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah. So I dug that out. It took me like I don't know two hours to dig it out. Uh huh. But I saw the serrated edge, and sometimes it's it's it, it fools you because sometimes you'll see it, and you'll totally dig it and take it out, and then it'll just be just a rock. Have you found more of those? Oh, I've got lots of them. Really? I'm a neverhead hunter. Yes. Oh, cool. Yes, so I've you're got keeping your eyes open for it. Oh yeah, I, I'm an avid uh, ever, arrowhead hunter. Yes, I've never found one before. Somebody could probably, one of my viewers could probably identify this thing. Do you think? Is it? Yeah, uh, it might be like a date it and stuff. Yeah. Uh, oh, definitely. Yeah. Maybe it's a spearhead or it's a spearhead. Is yes. it a spearhead? Yes, definitely. Wow, that's so neat. Yeah. There you go. Thanks a lot, man. And the side of the dirt right there. So yeah, that's totally cool, man. Cool. So are you like like just do you just like. So you digging, what are you digging for? So over here, I found a, I got a target. I think it's a coin. I'm using a metal detector. But yeah, there's a target here. I'm not sure. It may be a coin. It's right there, whatever it is. Maybe get that on camera while I dig it. Cool. You know, I, I know people that, that when they find them, they, they do their arrowhead things, man, they dig. Uh-huh. Yeah, and it's like totally cool. Yeah, it's fun. It keeps me out of trouble for the most right. part. <laughs> That's the main thing, right? <laughs> keeps my mind occupied. It keeps you out of trouble, my friend. That's all that matters. Maybe I got it here. Oh, I think I got it, dude. I got it. I think I got it. There's something in my hand. Oh, it's a little piece. Good grief. All that, all that noise for that little piece. Yep. <laughs> That's it. But I mean, you'll dig a thousand of these until right? you find a coin or something. But that's totally cool. Yeah, it keeps keeps you busy, keeps you occupied. Right. Yeah, I'm preserving history. If I find some cool old items oh or gosh. something, you know, there's there's a lot of it out there. Right on this bend of the river, there was an old home site that we found right. online. Are you, are you from here? I live over in uh, Golden. Are you are you a native? No, a I'm, native? I'm I'm from Pennsylvania originally. Really? Yeah, I moved here about four years ago. That's yeah. what that's one of the reasons I make these videos to show right. everybody this is a great place. So you have a YouTube channel? I do have a YouTube channel. Awesome, man. Do you, do you have a card or anything like that? I or? don't. It's um, if you could remember, Krusty Rusty. Well, well, yeah. Type in <laughs> if you type in Krusty Rusty. This is my YouTube channel. It's called Clash Guitars. I got a nice target here. 25, 26. Possible coin, maybe a little too big for a coin, but there's something right there. That's gonna be a can because it's too big. Sorry about the wind, it's starting to, looks like it's gonna rain here in a minute. Oh, it's a can. Ah, oh, big old can right there. Again, that's like the fourth can I pulled today. I don't know, and the thing is, I'm not allowed to dig deeper than six inches here. So, I mean, I'm not allowed to dig deeper than six inches here. Most of the good relics are probably deeper than that. I was just giving you guys uh, an example of how to use Gaia GPS and go looking for stuff better than this. But um, I'm gonna keep looking around. Hopefully we can find at least a coin or something before the rain hits. Um, yeah, so I'll turn the camera back on when I find something good. All right, I think I got, I think I might have a coin here. Um, but first of all, I wanna thank two brand new Major Credit Patreon supporters. We have Firefly Gaming 
and Sterla Leerhagen. You guys will have your name in the credits at the end of each video, along with all the perks of the $10 guys, the $5 guys, and the $1 guys. So thanks so much, it's much appreciated. Because of you guys, I get to do this for a living. So let's go ahead and dig this coin and see if it's even a coin. Okay, our target's right here. It's like right there. We'll just take our pick, and scrape back. Please be a coin or something good. What do we got? <laughs> yeah, it's a bottle cap. All right. Hey, I found a little mushroom. Look at that, I found a little mushroom. But there's an actual target here. Oh, dude, it's a surface coin. We found a coin, I'm happy. 1977 Denver, penny. It's copper, that's a keeper, nice. What is this? Huh. Found a part of a tent stake. I think we're gonna call it. Just a lot of bouncy signals. All right, well, I found a lot of bouncy signals here in the park. Let's find a park bench and uh, we'll take all that trash over and I'll lay everything out and show you what I got. All right, here's all the trash I was able to clean up. As you can see, got a bunch of cans and, you know, foil, can slaw, got one penny. And I think the coolest thing we found, didn't even have to use a metal detector, was this little, uh, little mushroom there. I'm gonna keep that, that's awesome. And of course, using this pick, we got, you know, some nails and barbed wire and little tiny nails and stuff like that. All right, thanks again everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to check out Gaia GPS. There is a huge discount link down below. Um, I really believe it's an invaluable tool for treasure hunters of all types, especially if you're looking for old home sites, if you're a metal detector, um, you can't go wrong with it. I mean, obviously here, places like this, I'm restricted to dig only six inches down sure if I would stay a couple more hours, a couple more days or weeks or whatever, just keep coming back, dig every target like you're supposed to do. Eventually, one out of a hundred, one out of a thousand of those targets might be something old, maybe silver, some cool old relics, you never know. Again, thanks a lot for watching my video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I put out a new video every week. I noticed through analytics that 80% of my viewers aren't even subscribers. So even though you see my video and you're recommended and everything, doesn't mean you're subscribed and every subscriber counts it really helps the show um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and yeah that's all I got for today thanks for watching